how did flight evolve in birds? Paleontologists continue to debate whether flight evolved from climbing dinosaurs that glided down from trees, or from running dinosaurs that eventually took to the air. The answer can be uncovered with the science of ecomorphology, which compares the functional shape of an animal, its morphology, with its environmental niche, or its ecology. Some paleontologists study how modern birds use their feet and compare their anatomy to dinosaurs. Using ecomorphology to predict the behavior of dinosaurs in their environment could answer questions about how flight originated. This is Macrophalangia canadensis, the fossil foot of an oviraptorosaur related to the ancestors of modern birds. Some scientists think oviraptors may have used their feet for grasping, wading, or running. By observing the relationship between the morphology and ecology of living birds, we can apply this knowledge to better predict the behavior of Macrophalangia. Let's take a look at the raven, the heron, and the rhea and examine how the unique features of their feet relate to their ecology. The raven spends most of its time perching in trees or bushes. Their three main toes all have a long penultimate toe bone, which is the last toe bone before the claw. These long toe bones and reversed innermost toe, called the hallux, make their feet well suited for grasping. Herons are large birds that hunt in shallow fresh water, Although they also perch and nest in trees, their feet do not have long penultimate toe bones. Instead, they have long and slender toes, which help them distribute their mass over a large surface area. These adaptations allow them to hunt in muddy environments without sinking. The rhea is a flightless bird with three toes. Adapted to life on the ground, the rhea has a long leg and has lost its hallux. Compared to the other birds we've examined, the rhea has very short and sturdy toe bones, which are reduced in size towards the claw. Although these features mean that it cannot perch well, they allow the rhea to be a specialized and efficient runner. How does comparing the ecology and morphology of different living birds help us learn about macrophalangia? Unlike the rhea, macrophalangia has four long toes with a wide footprint. These proportions are similar to the heron, which also has a wide footprint and long toes. This suggests macrophalangia may have been comfortable walking on soft or muddy ground. Macrophalangia also has a long middle toe with a long penultimate toe bone. This is similar to the long middle toe and long penultimate toe bone in the raven, suggesting that macrophalangia may have had some grasping capabilities. By expanding our study to dinosaurs even more closely related to modern birds, we hope to better reconstruct their ecology and shed light on the evolution of powered avian flight.